So let's talk a little bit about our procedure here. The first thing we want to do is build a list of all carrier values. We could do that by hand. It might actually be a little bit easier to do it that way, just by looking at the HTML. We then need to build a list of airport values. Now there are a lot of values here. So what we probably want to do is actually write a little script that will actually pull those out. Okay, so all pages are going to have exactly the same list for both of these. So we can just use the browser to download an example page and pull those values out. Next, what we need to do is make HTTP requests to download all the data. I'll talk about why we want to download it all in just a minute. Then what we want to do is parse the data files. The reason why we want to do it this way is because in building our parser, we want to make sure we're working with data that isn't going to change. And after the fact, once we do a little bit of data cleaning, we may discover that the reason why we've got some dirty data is actually because we have a bug in our parser. Much easier to figure out where that bug is if we've still got the original data we were using to parse. I should also point out that it really doesn't make sense to download the data over and over again as we're figuring out how to parse it. Something else you might want to keep in mind is that for years prior to the current year, the data isn't going to change. So there's no reason to retrieve it more than once. So this is actually a bit of a best practice. When you've got a situation like the one we have here, and when you've got a scraping task, it's often going to look something like this. You really want to grab all the data you need first, and then do your scraping in a separate process. So what we have for this particular problem is essentially three different steps. We first have to build all the values we're going to use to make HTTP requests. We then need to make all the HTTP requests and download the data we need. And then finally, we're going to parse the data we want out of those data files, shaping it into the particular pieces of data, the particular items that we want to use.